real step. This clip is brought to you by BattleOnline.com. So we definitely want to send a huge salute and congratulations to BG who graduated from Hope for Prisoners program to remain a productive member of the community and he posted the following video on his social media and it says wah yesterday i crossed another hurdle on this field of life it feels good to grow evolve and be a better man now than i was before i went to jail since i came home i noticed a lot of people are the same people i left but i'm not the same dude that left for all my haters keep hating and for all my supporters i'm gonna make y'all proud thanks to you my kids my team friends and fans for traveling this journey with me and pushing me to be great Y'all ain't seen nothing yet. Real mix back in style. Hashtag RNS. 100, Heart of the Streets free. Coming soon, BG free. So definitely great to see BG out. You know that we've reported multiple times over the years about his circumstance and case. Great to see him out. We did see, obviously, some hating and a lot of backwards and forwards on the internet. People making fun of the brother's appearance and stuff like that, which is definitely out of pocket. You know, BG stayed solid with his case. I mean, you know, anybody can get, I guess, caught off guard in a bad looking video or picture. So great to see BG here celebrating, evolving and growing. And, you know, shouts out to Mr. Servan because he stepped up on his social media and spoke out in support and solidarity of his New Orleans brethren. And he says, new BG, at new BG Hollywood. I'm happy to hold me home. But I don't like the disrespect I see. Celebrate that man. Don't disrespect him because he's from the city. And real ones here don't like some of y'all with that disrespect. See me, I just sit back and watch and let everybody do what they do, you know, on certain things and situations that be trending. And then I speak my mind if I choose to. The homie BG home, man. I'm so happy, man, that he home, man. And he went through something unbelievable that he shouldn't have to have went through. What, 14 years? I hope... I'm not wrong about how many years, you know what I'm saying? One day is too many in that place, man, for anybody, man, that don't deserve to be there because that was crazy why he was there. But he stood 10 toes down, kept his mouth closed, unlike a lot of people, man, you know, that that tend to run their mouth on the internet. And instead of celebrating this, man, it's like y'all disrespecting, some of y'all disrespecting who he is as a man. And I find that weak and cowardly, man, for y'all to even look for that with this man instead of just be happy that he's home that another black man made it home you know from that place you know celebrate the man no disrespect the man y'all cop yeah so there we see shared to mr sub on social media definitely a real clip of real talk big up to mr sub one part sub he always gonna speak his mind and speak from his heart and i think he hit the nail on the head with a lot of great points there with i was actually surprised with like nino brown and certain people they put out videos sort of clowning bg but Enough of that. As he said, celebrate that man for what he did. Keep it positive. And, you know, on the note of cash money, bad man who's definitely been 110% silent behind BG and on his release. We see bad man was one of the first people that greeted him. And a lot of people are anticipating, is there going to be a Hot Boys reunion tour? Now, some footage has circulated online with bad man speaking up why Hot Boy Tech wouldn't be welcome to the group and why he stands on business, you know, why he stays silent with BG and certain other folks. It's quite interesting. I know a lot of people, are, you know, want to see that Hot Boys reunion and everybody's actually out now. So so he was quote to say, to be honest, me and Tech didn't have a relationship before Tech went to jail. I ain't got nothing but love for Tech, but I did have a relationship before he went to jail. And he says, definitely going on tour. Let's check this clip out. Why Turk didn't receive that same red carpet treatment when he came home after being in prison almost nine years. Man, to be honest, that's small talk, right? But um, to be honest, me and Turk ain't have a relationship before he went to jail. I ain't have a relationship with Turk. Not at all. So I ain't, I ain't just Turk. I ain't have a relationship with Turk. And a lot of do shit, say shit, and I ain't forgiving everybody. I ain't one of them. I'm old school, old law. G code, you heard me fly, but um, I ain't got nothing but love for Turk, but he an A speed, but I ain't I ain't have a relationship with the Turk before he went to jail. So I didn't jost Turk. Yeah, so there you have it. Do let me know what you guys think. Some people in the comments have said it's not a hot boys tour. If Turk ain't involved or it's not officially the hot boys, what do you guys think? Do you think Wayne, BG, and Juvenile potentially could hold it up? I mean, I would definitely love to see like a no limit cash money crossover tour. We've had Pete make reference to it. 
even with BG being out now, we know he's got some connections and stuff. Obviously, with P and No Limit also, um, you know, he's done good work with C in the past. You know, so I think that'll be good. You know, I think they could make a lot of money. No Limit Cash Money Tour, but a Hot Boys Tour, I'd definitely be open to see it and see what these guys come with in this era. So appreciate everybody who watches to the end. Salute, support, and we'll be back with some more hip hop drops. Peace. And we represent UK worldwide. Got the trill stepping. Cause we bout that. And we represent UK worldwide. Got the trill stepping. We be representing. About that online. That's the hottest spot. The real ones. You gon'